Uh, and I'm just going to run hot glue all the way along the board because it will get um, obviously pressed on when you're pushing these buttons and this part here gets pushed as well which is so this is going to need securing down quite well I'm leaving the front clear because the emitter has to be glued in there eventually although not just now I think it's that way so I need to keep it quite clear So that's uh, pretty much secured in place. Now the thing with this piece is that it is free. It's not jammed anyway. So it does move around. I'll have to see if this piece will uh, get the wires out of the way. Uh, it's quite good because the new kit comes uh, pre-wired. It's set up for the button batteries. Got a little on-off switch at the back. And it comes uh, with the wires on it. That speaker will be hot glued into this disc area when the time comes, not yet. I just want to see if these will get it together well. Now I've put hot glue everywhere. Yep, there we are. That's how that will go. happy with the lineup of these here. Uh, the next thing I want to do is to wire the circuit board to the power point because all this wiring can be wrapped up into the bottom here to keep it out of the way. I have noticed that these parts oh, they come over this plastic piece where the batteries go uh, and I was looking here and these seem quite vulnerable points so I'm going to risk it and I'm going to put a tiny tiny dab and flatten it of glue that gives the underside of that solder joint a little bit of protection let's see let's, let's bring it back this way Good, let's bring this one back this way. That's good. I was a bit worried that that uh, could break off there. Let's see if we can get this together. Wires everywhere. <laughs> it's a fiddly old thing. Uh, I mean that's not in the right place, but I can at least get a, get a feel for it. That's okay, that's good. Now something I did at this end, this little micro switch, has a pad it glues on and this had a bar across it. I noticed that if the switch was on the pad where it's supposed to be glued, just here. The terminals on the back of the switch got in the way of the battery. So I intend to move it forward and glue it down and make the switch part of the frame. 
like that so it sits like that and you can still get up that on off switch so the next thing um, I want to do is attach these wires now this yellow and red stripe one happen to be the positive as this is on here so I will connect those first but I want a little bit more than that that's showing there Let's strip that back a bit strip this one back a bit there we go Two will be twisted onto each other. There we are. Then this, these two go together. This is the negative. That is the black. Now you could trim these wires down. It does make it harder to deal with them. And there is plenty of space to keep them the size they are inside the body. So that's uh, goes that way. Oh, see it flip around there. Let's try and keep these nice and together. Twist these around. So they will need soldering, and then the supplied heat shrink can be popped over them, which is superb. So they're soldered together. So I'll put in the first cell in, and then the second cell. Switch it on. So it should now have power. I haven't glued anything together yet. I'm just trying it out. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that turn off. I think at this stage we shall glue it together.